small parish of Craigie, in the old district of Kyle, now known as South Ayrshire. A legend exists. Lore tells the tale of a curse of the witch's tree. Nearby, at the graveyard in Craigie, in the writings of Archibald Adamson, Lore tells the tale of a witch and a stone. I'm here at the church graveyard in Craigie. The tales of witches are embedded in the folklore of this area. Lore has it that the church here had a narrow escape of being destroyed. The story goes a witch had selected a large piece of stone and placed it in her apron. The witch flew high above her targeted building with intent to destroy it. However, her apron broke and the stone fell to earth. The witch, now disheartened by the event, now abandoned her destructive idea, leaving the stone to lie where it fell. This boulder lay by the churchyard wall and is known as a white stain. The stone was described as being upright and located in a field near the village church. It stood three stones high and was blasted to pieces in 1819 to build houses. The stone itself no longer exists, with the Royal Commission merely regarding it as a rocking stone. These stones are so finely balanced that small forces cause them to rock. There's no stone here now, let's move on and find this tree. My investigation has brought me back past the famous Barn Wheel Monument, also known as Wallace Tower. But that's another bedtime story. The story goes that centuries ago, a witch was hung from a tree in this area. In her dying breath, she cursed the area around it, ensuring nothing would grow. Right, we've came across the ruin of the ancient barn wheel church, or kirk. There's not much left of this old building. Witchcraft and witch trials are very much embedded in Ayrshire history with the Scottish Witchcraft Act being passed in 1563. It's very, very atmospheric. You can sense this place is steeped in folklore. Ayrshire alone had over 150 witch trials with the last public execution of a witch in 1727. It's not hard to imagine any number of witches being hung from these trees here. The kirk itself dates back to the early 15th century. This kirk in the wood belonged to Fail Monastery until 1563. and under the old parish of Barn Wheel until 1673, eventually closing in 1689. Tales of lore describe a third witch who lived in these areas. She was a witch of Barn Wheel. She was sentenced to death and burnt in 1586 in the town of Ayr. Could this be the same witch of legend that dropped the witch's stain? The 
village of Burnwheel has not existed for centuries, but the kirk and the graveyard have. The Barnwheel Witch gruesome expenses are recorded in the Borough accounts. Seven pounds, three shilling and eight for candles. Drink, meat, pitch, coals and heather, along with trees and other items. Was this her only doing, or was there a more sinister side going on? Well, there are actually three witches in Craigie. Or could there have been many more? Could there have been a coven here at Craigie? Existing in the very shadows of Barn Wheel. Or maybe it's just urban legend and folklore. Centuries pass, but tales last forever. What was that? <laughs>